Hey guys, it's the July Lioness. How are you today on Saturday, August 1st? Oh boy, we made it through July. Phew! Hot, hot, hot. Boy, this has really been a hot summer, hasn't it? At least around here it has been. It really has been. I mean, I think it started getting hot in June and it never really abated. Just seemed to get you know, the sun got closer to the earth and therefore stronger. They say that um, in this hemisphere, uh, the sun is strongest, was it May through August. In August, it starts to mellow out a bit. So I think now that we're in August, it's not going to be hot. It, well, it'll, it'll level off. I what I think it'll be kind of leveling off and then eventually cooling off so I'd say around by around here it'll start I think maybe mid-August it'll start being just pleasant and then cooler and cooler until it maybe it'll be a little too cold to be outside in maybe oh depending on the year November, December, something like that. But you pretty much mow the lawn up through December. You can, it, it just keeps, it still keeps going. But, you know, the growth spurt now is ending. And, uh, you know, the, the spring green has become summer green. So we're getting there. It's just frustrating to have this backyard out there and I just can't go out in it because I'll get either devoured by the bugs or or roast in the heat or you know, it's not where where's the fun <laughs> when does are we having fun yet <laughs> i'd hate to miss it i'd hate to be having fun and and not know it hmm. oh well so anyway um so what happened last week let's see well i had my birthday on tuesday um, it was disappointing, but they've, they've been disappointing for many years now, so I don't know why I still kind of, I try not to get, I don't know what I'm expecting, I don't know what I want, I just, what's, what is a happy birthday? That's, I don't know what a happy birthday is anymore, what do I want to happen on my birthday? Presents. I want presents. I want a lot of presents. I don't care about seeing people and talking to them. I just want people. I think I just want people to mail me a bunch of presents. I mean really good presents. Well gift cards. Yeah, lots of gift cards. That would be great. I, that would make my dad be perfect. I wouldn't have to deal with anybody, but I can have an opportunity to buy more stuff. Oh God, how materialistic am I? Oh. <laughs> Uh, I did send the birthday book to my friend, and just today I got a thank you note from her. It didn't say a lot. I'm kind of disappointed that she didn't tell me what was going on in her life. It just was sort of thank you for the birding book, the birding journal that you made. Thank you for the birding journal that you made. I love it. And happy birthday. And that was basically it. This is somebody I, you know, I guess I'm pretty disappointed. We were best friends, like in high school, like read each other's minds, complete each other's sentences. We were so much on the same way, same wavelength. It was weird. People were talking about us, you know, like, hey, are you sisters or something? Are you twins? Because we kind of looked alike. And, same same complexion and everything I mean we just had such a an amazing friendship you know and for her to just sort of I feel snubbed yeah I feel snubbed and so I realized I'm I've got to kind of stop clinging to the past I need to I need pen pals I need more pen pals I love having pen pals I write my paper I make my own note paper and I write to them, people, but I don't, being a snob, <laughs> it's, I don't often get a lot out of the actual 
uh, communication, but just to, I don't know, just to swap stuff, to swap with people and maybe little notes. Maybe I just need some swapping pals. I don't know. I'll have to look on Facebook and see. I just don't have much in common with people my age. Everybody seems to be, you know, empty nesters and with grandchildren and it's all very family, family, family. Where, where are the loners hiding in their rooms, safe within their homes? I touch no one and no one touches me. I am a rock. <laughs> so, anyway, the card, her, she thanked me promptly for what it was worth. Moving on, moving on, moving on. I'm going to make a video after this. I'm going to get some dinner, then I'm going to start another video, video in the craft room. And I'm going to do a process video of um, the Hasagrams. So I've done a little more work so, on the Hasagram. But in the process video, it'll be, I'm doing it on my camcorder so the quality will be better. You can see. I did do. I added some detail to this. When I added some detail to this, I think it looks better. It's. I think it helps if you use vary the thickness of the lines. It adds depth. So I worked on that one. But before I did that, I made this one. That took me oh an hour or two. The paper was already done, so it was, um, I had already spritzed the paper. That, that. So if you open it up, this is what the design looks like. That's on the, this is, you know, the outside, and then on the inside, whoa, I think it's so pretty. I love this. I really love this. So I'll take some stills of this, maybe put it on Instagram, but so I'm thinking I'll, uh, I probably should make two different videos because a lot of people are terrified of trying to draw, <laughs> but this was done with all, all the materials for this were come from stamping up paper and the spritzer bottles and the pens, all of it is all from Stampin' Up. So, um, and the paper, all of it, every down to the last drop. Uh, so I think that would make a really good Stampin' Up video, dem demonstrator video. For the people who are not afraid to draw, for the people who are afraid to draw, I need to experiment. Um, with my stamps, I'm thinking I could do um, like a stamp. My use my my bird stamp and then draw around it, like draw it in, draw a nest around it or vines or something like that, so that people could see that they can use combined stamps and drawing freehand to make something pretty. Because I know stamps don't always have everything you need if you're trying to make create some kind of a, an illustration or something they can they can you know supply you with like the harder element the elements that are harder to draw and you can fill in with stuff that you can you feel competent but also if you just use stamps it's not your artwork it's not you stamped it but you didn't draw it so I think it's it's less personal that way. I like to make things personal, but it's just it's you know it's a, a skill level issue, and people who aren't like intimidated by drawing they reach for a rubber stamp and or a rubber stamp set, and you can make some pretty neat stuff with that. And you can because of the angel policies in place, you can sell what you've made. And so that way, then you can, if you hand stamp it, 
you can hand stamp a whole bunch of them and sell them through whatever site you want. Etsy, Etsy springs to mind, but of course there are now a lot of fees and things. <laughs> so, <coughs> The Sims, let me see, what have I been doing with The Sims? The Sims is just kind of in my life because of this heat. You stay in and, and make people in little houses and make sure they <laughs> they go to the bathroom and if they if they have a bladder accident, make sure they take a a, <laughs> a shower afterwards and oh, all this crazy stupid stuff. But uh, I it's I've been having such a hard time recording my gameplay because all of these video games to a certain extent are huge tax on the computer system and you really need to have a gaming computer I'm coming to realize my computer was just a pretty cheap one from Walmart it's about how old is it two or three years old now and I just bought the cheapest one I could find. I didn't have heck of a lot of money. My old laptop had just given up the ghost and I was desperate for a computer. You know, so my friend and I went to Walmart and just sort of grabbed one. And I'm surprised at, at how good this one really is. I'm really quite pleased with it for it being really bottom of the line. <laughs> so, of course it's not set up for gaming. Uh, gaming uses an incredible amount of resources because not only to <clears throat> and if you're recording gaming that takes up even more because I guess I can record my gameplay but it looks like crap because the the combination of, of running the game and recording the game is too much on my computer so I you know my that's why my if you've watched my gaming videos they're not much better than slideshows because this <clears throat> because the CPU just can't can't do it so <clears throat> uh, sadly having come to this sad realization now that I'm going to have to give up recording gameplay because it, it just is a it's just frustrating to a big source of frustration for me to record and for people to watch it's just bleh. there's so many other people on YouTube that have got really you know speedy huge huge memory <laughs> gaming computers that probably cost them million, thousands of dollars versus my little $500 one <laughs> you know so I'll let them do the gameplay. There's tons to watch on YouTube anyway. And it is fun to watch them, watch the videos. And, you know, it's nice to, to watch the videos. You're just watching other people's videos and you don't, it's you're just not really sucking up all your time and energy. But it's quite entertaining. Some of them are quite entertaining. Uh, so my, I think my videos are going to have to be not so much gameplay but uh, tours of of houses that I've got in the game for The Sims and uh, also sh introducing the families the households I've got so I think I could film like create a sim and show this this is this household you know and Actually, Create a Sim is quite good because you do get a really good look at the sim you've made, much more than you do in gameplay. So this will be for people who who play Sims 4. I have the base pack and I have back to work, get to work, get to work. Uh, so if you play Sims 4 and you have get to work in the base game, then you're very, very welcome to download my kids. <laughs> They'll be on, on the gallery, and um, I'll let you know 
what my username is, or you can ask me for my username. Yeah, ask me for my username. Send me a message if you're interested in my Sims. Or go to my gaming channel, whatever. Just ask me if, you, if there's anything you need, want to know, just ask me in the comments and I'll get in touch with you. I'll answer you. Uh, if it's not rude. <laughs> Marriage proposals, uh, I'll have to think about. <laughs> no death threats, please. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to kind of make my videos, my gameplay videos, not so much gameplay, but... <clears throat> Game display? Yeah, from play to display. Okay. So let's see, it's 10 of 8. Oh, it's still, it's much nicer outside now. Uh, but it's noisy. People are running around. The traffic, it really, my camera really picks up all the, the white noise that I don't pick up anymore. And another thing the camera picks up is if I'm in this other room, my what I call the chat room, that's right off, that's a room adjacent to the kitchen. It used to be the dining room. There's no door between it and the kitchen. And wow, the refrigerator on videos, you can hear that thing. And, you know, I'm just talking and then all of a sudden I go, Wah! <laughs> what is that? You know, I don't notice it until I'm playing back the video. It's amazing all the stuff you tune out. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a cheapo refrigerated refrigerator. I would need to upgrade some things. Darla's. Oh. What's the matter, Darla? She tried to eat your food? Huh? Yeah, Marowyn sometimes gets into Darla's food, and you know, dogs are very possessive of their food. <clears throat> and that was Marowyn's cry, so that must be what happened. She's not going to eat your food. Sandy's the one that eats your food. But she doesn't get mad at Sandy. Sandy's your favorite. I think Sandy's everybody's favorite. <laughs> He's such a sweet cat. Everybody loves Sandy. <clears throat> Darla plays with him. Marowyn plays with him. Hermes plays with him and I play with him. We all love Sandy. <laughs> but I love all my babies. I love them all. They're all different and I love them all for different reasons. Especially the bodyguard. Well, guys, it's been nice talking to you, and I hope you're having a great weekend, and I hope the weather's gotten nice for you wherever you are, and that you can get outside and enjoy your backyard, and I sure hope I'll be able to do mine soon. I would love to do a Choco Chat from my backyard. Hopefully, I can do that sometime this month. So, happy August. Take care of you guys. Bye.